Hello, welcome back to Knit Happens with Pam, episode two. I want to introduce to you my little friend, Mercedes. She's my little sidekick, and she will be popping in from time to time. So, Mercedes, she's going to be 13 this year, is my little pal. All right, so we're going to put her down. And thank you for joining me again for Knit Happens with Pam. So I am PamMom63 on Instagram and Daydreams63 on Ravelry if you want to find me. And I'm glad you have returned. If you are new to me, please subscribe and hit the bell like you would normally do. I would appreciate that. Any comments and feedbacks are more than welcome. So we're going to start today with the weather here. I am in New Jersey, South Central New Jersey, and it is cold here. And the temperature is 23 with a wind chill. It's like, it's like really bad out. Not liking this weather. I prefer at least 45 and no wind. I would take that. That's good for me. I'm an outdoor person. I like to sit outside and... This weather is not comparable to that, so okay. So it is very blustery here, and I'm not liking it, so let's get past that. So let's start with what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Flying Fringe Saw by Beta Jezik. I made this a few years ago, uh, Do You Knit? Studio knits. They had a, um, a knit along, and I made this shawl. This is a very good scrap buster shawl. You can use all your scraps. I used all fingering weights for this. It's a very warm. I wear it all the time when it's, especially when it's really cold like this. I have all different colors in it. It goes with so many of my outfits and coats. It'll go with everything. It doesn't matter what color. It goes with everything when you're using all different kinds of fingering weight shawls and held together. It works perfectly. Very fun knit. Very warm. I love it. I'm loving this one. Uh, something else that I'm working on currently is the... Magic Spring Shawl. That's by Katarina Bobkova. And I'll put links down at the bottom for all of these. Um, I'm using yarn that I received for Christmas uh, from our local yarn shop. These are all like different kinds of minis that I'm working on here. And then I'll just add some others from my stash. This is another good stash buster to make this one. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. Same with the Flying Fringe Shawl. That is also a free pattern from Ravelry. And I know some of you don't use Ravelry anymore, but I still use it. I like it. I, I It works for me. Uh... Another thing um, that I'm working on are socks. I'm not really great at socks. Uh, I'm still fairly new to them. I did make these over the summer. Just a shorty sock. Just a, I think I looked at, I think it was Roll City, Roller City, something. And I just had a yarn, sock yarn that I had. So I made these socks. So they're not like perfectly matched, but they're pretty, pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. So they were, they were fun to knit. So again, socks are new to me and I'm working on another sock. It's a tube sock where you're going to do an afterthought heel. And that is definitely new to me. So let's get that out. So the yarn I'm using for that, 
I'm not even sure where I got it from, how I got it. I must have been a Joanne fabric thing that I had bought. And I thought it was just these colors here. And come to find out, there's more colors in the middle, which is kind of bizarre. This is where I'm at right now. So we went from the, the, the lime green and gray, and we went to blue and pink. And I think it's going to go back to green and gray again. So, yeah. So I'm going to do these with the Afterthought heel. I'm excited to try that one because it's something I've never done before. And that should be that should be fun. I mean, it looks like it's not too difficult. Um, I guess we're going to find out about that one. But it's something that I want to try. It's going to be interesting. I'm doing them on US 2 needles. I've not gone down to a, a US 1 or a 0 on socks yet, but... I will do that. I just wanted to start it with the two because I actually had the twos. I don't have the ones or the zeros yet. So that's something that I will work into my needle stash. I do have a lot of needles, which I talked about before. I did the, I always buy the Chow Goo. My definite favorite go-to needle. Not that I'm not willing to try others, but that's my go-to. Okay, so... Another thing that I did over the summer, there's a couple things I ever did. I did last year, which I'll, I'll talk a little bit about. And one of them is my Weekender by Andrea Mowry. So I did this Weekender with a DK yarn and mohair held together and I did make it in a short sleeve because I prefer short sleeves over long sleeves most of the time so this is like a like a tan colored sweater it's very soft comfortable cozy uh, Andrew Mary has great patterns and this was one of them I do want to make another one I probably will make another one in a long sleeve just haven't started one yet. Another couple of sweaters I made based on Hohi Locatelli in her the easy one pattern. And of course I when I this is the first one I've done and I did not make it easy on myself. I decided to do it in several colors, three colors to be exact. I also did this in a short sleeve. I do like wearing this one. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's very soft with the yarns I purchased. I can't tell you what they were because that was last year and it was something from my local yarn shop, but it's very soft, very comfortable. I know the bottom looks very black and dark, but it's actually a purple. So we have a purple, a pink and a variegated. So that was something that I enjoyed doing and I do like to wear that. Another one based on the big easy one or the easy one is uh, one that I did with yarns held together, fingering yarns held together. It's very heavy and thick. So this was another one that I did. And a short sleeve, but a little bit longer than the other one. Because again, I'm not really a big long sleeve fan because I like to wear them to work and it's kind of hot at work. I like to be comfortable. So. so there's a couple that I did. Um, I don't have any other sweaters right now. Again, I've, I'm fairly new to all this. I actually started uh, crocheting first. My, my grandmother taught me when I was young how to crochet. And that was something that I pretty much did all the time. I crocheted, I did uh, craft shows with my crochet items, um, lots of baby items, scarves, hats, you know, that kind of thing. And that was my go-to all the time. 
Um, then a friend of mine, actually it was a boss at the time, taught me how to knit. She taught me how to cast on and do a knit stitch. And I was like really liking that. Like that was different. I like the look of it. And I pretty much taught myself everything else after that. I just YouTube all kinds of videos, figured it all out. And I kind of put the knitting on hold for a while and still went back to my crocheting. And I think probably when I really started knitting was maybe four years ago. Um, and I pretty much haven't turned back. I pretty much knit all the time now rather than crochet. Sometimes I'll combine the two. You can do a lot of nice patterns combining of the, the knitting and the crochet. But the knitting, I just, I really like the look of it more so than the crochet. And I thank my grandmother for teaching me how to crochet when I was very young. And it's something I'll never forget. I can just pick it up and do it anytime. But knitting is something that has really become a very big passion in my life. I do it every day. I'm knitting on something every day. Uh, and right now, pretty much, I'm knitting on... Cozy Up Knits has an MCAL going on that started January 1st, and there's five clues. They just released clue five today, and I'm excited to get started on that. I'm not going to show it until it's done because it is a mystery knit along, so I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. But clue five did come out today, and I'll be working on that next. Very excited about that one. And like I said before, I did make notes for this, this podcast or this YouTube, so I'm going to go off my notes. So along the line with socks, I am working on a basic vanilla sock, but it's a tube, which I'm going to do the afterthought heel. Last weekend, I did a lot of research on the afterthought heel. I'm like, I have to try it. That's something new into my knitting I need to try because it looks like it would be interesting and fun. And I know a lot of you YouTubers really do the afterthought heel and you seem to like it. So we'll see what we have here. So what we have is a yarn that I must've purchased at some point. It was, it's a sock yarn from Lion Brand Yarns. It's called Manny Petty and it, the colorway is yoga. And this is the colorway. It doesn't show you really anything on the label. So unbeknownst to me, there are colors in the center. And I'll show you that. So this is where I'm at on the first sock. I don't know how to do magic heel or a magic loop two at a time yet. I can do magic loop on a single item. But here's where we are. For this one and I'm excited to do the afterthought heel. So these are on a US 2. This is of course the yarn I was telling you about, the sock yarn from Lion Brand Yarn. But again, like I was kind of surprised on the color how it went. But it's okay, it's going to be in my shoe. It doesn't matter. Or in my boots. It doesn't really matter. But it'll be fun to try. So this is sock number one that I'm working on. And I can't wait to try the afterthought. So I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to do the heel in another color, a contrasting color or just a random color, or if I'll just use the same yarn, but I'll decide that when the time comes. So, so that's that on that sock. And I do pretty much, a, it's basic vanilla, um, 64 cast on and that's pretty much my go-to is the 64 cast on. So I'll put that away. <clears throat> okay, what do we have next here? Um, okay, so let's talk about um, progress keepers. So my daughter just got into the world of progress keepers. 
She started out with making earrings and I suggested to her she should make progress keepers and stitch markers. So I'm going to show you some of the some of them that she has made. So we have a little purple paw here because we're big animal lovers and we love our dogs. As you can tell by Mercedes, my little chihuahua. Um, this is a flower. And we have another flower, purple. She knows I like purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And butterflies are like my thing too. Butterflies and alpacas, my favorites. And we have a lemon. That's cute. And then we have back at the stuff. Just like this little little gem. And we have a tree. We have a starfish. And we have another flower. We have another flower in purple. We have a gold rose. And we have a little, like a sweet treat. Little sweet treat. So uh, her Etsy shop is Crafting Kaler, K R A F T I N G K A I L A. I will link that below. Uh, she's got a she has a lot up there, all different kinds. Her gummy bear ones. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're adorable. Um, another one that I like, and she has more. I've, I have plenty more here somewhere, but I'm not going to get them all out. I don't want to bore you too much, but um, check her out. Crafting Kayla on Etsy. I will link her. Okay, some of the things that I just recently purchased. Um, I did buy some Patton's Corey Socks yarn. I'm kind of confused on how the colorway works. It looks like it may be called Boise. B-O-I-S-E-E. -E. I just saw, I happened to see it on, on Rav, or I'm sorry, on Amazon, and I just really like the color. Something different, like it's, it has the greens and the tans, ecru, burgundy. So that's something that I want to do. I want to make uh, some socks out of that. So that looks like it is going to be a nice sock, nice sock colors. Something else that I purchased that, oh, I did buy a few more needles because I did do need more Chavu needles because who doesn't need more needles? I do. I always need more needles because you can't ever find the needles that you want to use when you need them. So I bought more. And they were for socks. Something else I purchased um, that I like to use. Now, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I do. I like to use graph paper when I'm making projects. That's my way of keeping track of where I'm at and what I'm doing. So just for an example, this was just something I printed off the computer. I use graph paper and I mark everything. So when I was making my sock, I started with the cuff. I marked the cuff, like how many stitches I used and I check off whenever I do those stitches, that row. And then I'm on pretty much the leg section here. So when I go back to make the second sock, I kind of have something to go, a template to go by. So I have the same amount of stitches and rows and everything else. So what I purchased, I saw on Amazon, is a graph notebook, graph paper notebook. So I have it in a notebook form, which I would prefer instead of having a bunch of loose papers everywhere. I have this. So I'm, I'm happy about that. It is from five star and it does have, it does have pockets. So this is something that I use all the time. Tell me what you use. This is what, just what I, I prefer. 
and maybe that will help somebody else with their projects but I definitely go for the graph paper because I can just check everything off as I go along when I'm making a pattern whatever I'm doing a shawl a sweat it doesn't matter what it is I'll, it'll say you know so many rows of this and I'll mark all the numbers or it'll say go back to row five so I'll put that row five back in there so I kind of know where I'm at so that works best for me um, you might want to check that out it's it's I think it's helpful but my opinion just my opinion only so next I want to talk about uh, projects that I would like to knit so I'm constantly on Ravelry looking at patterns all the time so some of the um, patterns that I've been looking at that I want to work on is I want to work on Twin It Up. It's a shawl from Cozy Up Knits because I'm a big fan of their patterns, first of all. But they had put this out in 2018. I didn't, I didn't see it at the time. Um, I was probably working on this anyway. So, But that's one that I've seen recently that I want to work on. So I did... That is a paid for pattern and I did purchase that. So that's something that I want to work on. It's um, you, It has options for different weight yarns with a, looks like a size US four needles, but it does have options for the yarn sizes. Another one I want to work on is the Blurry Cow by Hohi Locatelli. That's in a DK yarn with US six needles. And I would like to make another Simple Hug Cardi from Cozy Up Knits. I don't think I would put the mohair in it this time. I think I want to use something different. Um, but I do want to make that one again. I do think I might make a short sleeve this time. Um, I'll decide when it happens. But I do really like that pattern. It's a fun knit. It's, it's quick. It's very enjoyable. And you really need to check those ladies out. They're so much fun. Um, one of the bags that I forgot to mention last time, because I believe it was downstairs, so I didn't have it upstairs with me. We were talking about SSK Yarners and all the bags I have from them. Here's another one that I did purchase last August when they were running their sale. It's the red, white, and blue flip-flops. A nice summery bag. So this is one I neglected to show but you need to check them out they're running a sale they're running a special right now um so you might want to check them out on S etsy ssk yarners um let's see so let's look at maybe some of my yarn stash which is behind me so we'll talk about some of the yarns that i have <clears throat> this one is yarn pimp yarns and this from Do You Knit. Um, they're for, from North Jersey. I like to try to go with some off the wall color yarns because I never know what I might want to use them for. I like to use, I'm, I love color. I love color. I used to be a floral designer for many, many years. I'm very big into color. I'm good with matching color. So I do like to try to purchase different color yarns. I may use it double with something. I may not. I may just put it with other yarns, but it's, it's so soft. It is a single ply yarn. It's, it's, it just, it feels, it feels amazing. They do have nice yarn. Um, again, that's yarn pimp yarn to unit. And we have another one from, from yarn pimp. Uh, this one, it, it's a 100% merino machine washable hand dyed. This is another, another one of the yard and they are in New Jersey. Again, uh, the colorway, I can't really tell what the colorway is. So I guess it's fall, but this is another beautiful yarn. And I can see that going with this. So I have it paired up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but they make a nice combination there. Let's see what we have here. Um, I don't know where I purchased this from, but it's Astral Yarn. 
And this is, an, uh, I believe this is an alpaca blend. Sorry, my lighting is just not really that great here. But it is so, so silky. It's a silky, silky yarn. And I don't know what I'm going to use for that, but again, astral, very nice, very, very soft, very, very soft. I have so much yarn here. I don't know where I purchased it all from. Um, oh, this is a knit crate yarn that I purchased because I do, like I said before, I belong to the knit crate. Um, just a machine wash cold with light colors, machine dry until just damp, lay flat. But it's a pretty yellow color. Again, I'd like to try to get some off the wall colors because we all need colors in our life. So I do like that one too. I do believe I wanted to pair it with something. However, I don't remember what I wanted to pair it with. That's okay. I mean, you could do, I could do it with, I have this three Irish girls brown color yarn. I think that would work together. That would look nice in something, I do believe. Like I said, I do like mixing colors. Actually, look at this. All right, let's look at something here. Yeah, I think that would go. <clears throat> um, what else do we have here? We have yarn without label, so we won't look at that one because it has no label. I can't tell you what it is. This is something that I bought, or this came from SSK Yarners. It's called SSK Yarners Plumpy. It's 80% superwash merino, and it's called Beauty. It's a nice, pretty blue. Yeah, I like that one. There's not a yarn that I don't like. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is an Audine Woods, uh, uh, sorry, Audine Wools from Knit Crate. Color's not showing up. It's like a, kind of like a minty teal kind of color. I'm not sure if it's showing up properly on screen here, but there's another nice yarn. Oh, so this came from another local yarn shop for me. It's called the Yarn Shop from Alma Park. When we had our New Jersey wool walk, wool, wool walk, I did hit them, hit them up, and I bought this. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love it. They do have a website. I'll try to link them also. Very, very, very nice yarn. I was just destined for blues in that shop. It's funny because when I go to different yarn shops, I focus on a different color in that yarn shop for some reason. Something draws me, and the blues in that shop really drew me to them. You know, I don't remember exactly what I talked about the last time, so I don't want to get too redundant. This is an SSK Yarners Plumpy Yarn also that I purchased over August of last year. They do have an Etsy shop that you can check out, SSK Yarners on Etsy. They are running some specials right now, so you can check them out. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, I think that might be it for today. I understand now how, uh, YouTubers may take like a month at a time to post a video. 
because you need more content. And I thought that I had a lot of content before I did this video. However, I really don't. Um, I do work a, a major full-time job, so I don't have as much knitting time as I would like. I do knit every day. I do at least knit a row or two on whatever I'm working on. Tonight I will start working on my MCAL from Cozy Up Knits. Clue number five. I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping by next week I'm done with it. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't like the blocking process as much. Um, that's the one thing that I'm having struggles with. You have to have a lot of room, a lot of blocks, a lot of space. So that is something that I need to work on more. Like a lot of my hats, I think that they should be blocked. I'm really not good at that. I have blocked a few things before. I've blocked my sweaters, but I, I need to perfect that. Um, if you have any suggestions for me for blocking, please let me know. I would be interested in hearing your stories on blocking, especially with hats. I really don't know how to block a hat. Um, it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know what you use. I know some people use balloons, some use plates. I don't know. I don't know what's the best thing to use. So I would really like to hear your opinion on that one. Um, blocking hats. Yeah. Because I hear that they they block a lot of the yarns blossom when you block the hats, and I would like to see that process. But is what it is right now. Um, again, some more suggestions would be great. Um, if there's anything that you would like me to talk about, if you want to hear about, let me know. Um, I'm open to talk about other things like you know, I won't talk about books because I don't I don't read books. I don't have time to read books. But, I mean, I do purchase makeup. I do purchase patterns. Um, I watch some movies. Not a lot of movies. I mostly watch movies on YouTube if I'm going to watch any movie. Um, I just, I YouTube most of the time. I just like watching documentaries and just something that might interest me. Uh, if there's, like I said, if there's any suggestions you want me to bring up, please let me know. If you want to know more about me and my life, I'll, I'll only tell you so much, but I can bring up some of it. Um, what I do for a living, what I do for fun other than knitting, please ask me. Um, so I think that's going to be it for this episode too. Again, please leave me some comments, subscribe, like, Thumbs up, thumbs down. It doesn't matter to me. Just if you acknowledge that you stopped by and checked me out, that would be great. I want to get this YouTube channel going. And this is something that I wanted to do for myself. Because I really like doing it. And I really love watching other YouTubers. So today is Friday, January 29th. <clears throat> it is 6.40 p.m. And... I think I'm going to go work on my MCAL. So see you next time and have a good weekend. Stay warm. Stay safe. Bye.